Hello and welcome back. First of all, welcome aboard all of the new subscribers. In case you are new to the channel, Total OS today is total technology for beginners because we all start somewhere. Boy, ain't that the truth. All right, I'm going to take a quick look at one of the fastest Linux-based operating systems on the planet, and that is called Lubuntu. But before I do that, you may want to take a look at the website here, lubuntu.net. This will give you some information here. Two things that stick out here, very, very important. Number one, if you want to install this on a PC with Windows 8 or has the UEFI uh, firmware, you may want to click this link here, very important. Uh, Lubuntu was designed for older machines, such as my 10-year-old laptop in which I installed this on. It ran pretty decent. So, But if you are running Windows 8, take a look at that if you wish to install it. And finally, the other thing that sticks out here is Lubuntu can run with as little as a Pentium 2, Pentium 2 or Celeron system with as little as 128 megabytes of RAM. All right, well, let's take a look at Lubuntu on my 10-year-old laptop. Now, I ran, I, I recorded some video here before without sound. As far as Lubuntu goes, this is, as far as for beginners, this is the fastest Linux OS that I can recommend uh, if you are looking for pure speed and something that is still somewhat uh, user-friendly. Uh, here, we're ju I'm just looking at the panel bar going from right to left, and I move the panel bar from the bottom to the top. This was just me double clicking the uh, shutdown log out here. But you have shutdown, time and date, internet. Now you may have seen this before. Uh, battery, sound menu, you have two working desktop environments here. And this is the uh, system monitor here. Uh, this is using, even with the recorder running, the, this is only using 185 megabytes of RAM, even with the recorder. Quite, quite light and quite zippy. Of course, with the panel, the one thing I like, you can right-click and add little uh, add-ons or applets to the panel bar, such as indicator applets, resource monitors, stuff like that. All right, moving along to the left, that's my uh, screen recording software. All right, the shortcut to log on to connect to the internet. And the Chromium is, is one of the fastest web browsers out there, faster than Firefox. Now, of course, you can install any web browser that you want, including Firefox. I also like Opera. This is just doing a search to the internet, Total OS Today, and it's working fine. Now, as I stated, this is running off a 10-year-old ThinkPad with less than a gigabyte of RAM. I believe it's a Pentium M. So the machine is extremely outdated, but all things considered, Lubuntu ran pretty good. All right, this is the file manager here. Again, if you are coming from a Windows environment running, say, you know, Windows XP 2000, this should be quite familiar to you. Now, I won't go through every single piece of software here. I installed some extra software, customized this somewhat, but this has a simple uh, drop-down menu, the Start button on the top left. And I'm just scrolling down through the uh, pieces of software. And we'll just uh, take a look at one of these, which is the audio mixer. Again, very easy to read. Uh, nothing fancy here in terms of colors, themes, or fonts, but Lubuntu was not meant to be that way. Uh, now, of course, you can customize it to look any way that you want to, but for Lubuntu and lightweight distros, they are meant, they are meant to be uh, very simple and fast. Now, I will show you something here at the end that I completely recommend if you intend to install this, if you are a beginner that will make this a little bit easier for you. Uh, I just clicked on the Lubuntu Software Center. This is where you will search for uh, pieces of software, mostly free, by categories such as graphics, science, audio, video. Let's click that and see where this takes us. Now, of course, if you install this on a modern machine, it's going to run twice as fast as this, if not even faster than that. And this is what's available under the, under the audio and video category under the Lubuntu Software Center. All right, back to the start 
button, System Tools. I recommend you install a piece of software called Cairo Dock. This is a panel dock that's quite user friendly, looks quite nice, and this is going to make Lubuntu much, much easier for you to navigate to and through. Highly recommended if you want to install Lubuntu coming from Windows. Now, now of course, at the beginning of, of the install process, make sure you also install the updates and the codecs as you install the system. It'll save a lot of headache later. And that was a look at the Cairo dock. All right, well, in conclusion, if you are looking once again for the fastest Linux operating system, Linux-based distro, Linux distro, and you are coming from Windows and wanted to try something super fast that is somewhat beginner friendly, definitely take a look at Lubuntu. For me, it is the fastest one out there. Again, this will run in as little as 128 megabytes of RAM. It's not recommended but it can. So if you have, say, a modern machine with multiple gigabytes of RAM, this thing will scream. It'll run jet fast. All right, well, that's my look at Lubuntu 1310 Saucy Salamander. As always, thank you for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.